It's so hard to pick one word to describe a piece, but something that I really had in mind while I was writing my new piece was the word momentum. I think that, especially through music, because it involves time, it's really a window into someone's inner landscape or their something about their world or their mind. I have a routine where if I'm in LA, I'll get up in the morning early and take a jog, and then I'll come back and write for, for a while. And it takes a while to have an idea. So I'll try to create ample space to write. I usually start by making a drawing of the piece. So for this new piece, I had this image of this golden arrow that was shaped like a spiral. And I think it had to do with the asanado, it had to do with that momentum we were talking about, and it had to do with kind of the way that I wanted the piece to happen where it had to kind of come from somewhere and then land very centrally. So it had to like move into you as you listen to it. And it really helps to have those, those shapes and that physical expression of the piece just because it, it exists and it's something you can hang on to when you're bringing something out of the ether. I try to make it a full body experience. I think it's more impactful because that's where we feel music and I'm really into expression and expressing emotions and through that I think people connect and that's the magic of music. So I'll sometimes take the pieces on a walk or on a jog or like move around the room with them or I'll sing lines so that there's a physicality to it and I kind of bring it into my body before I put it on the page in different ways. When the World As You've Known It Doesn't Exist is a piece that I wrote right after I had finished doing Prism. And doing that was such a full on experience that I felt disconnected from my own energy in a way that I've never felt before. It wasn't depression. I just didn't feel like I could move into the work. And so there was something that felt like something was around the edges that I wanted to try to touch on. So, you know, I'm five foot tall woman. So the fact that I think my emotions belong on that stage is a political statement. So I just went very personal and was writing about my emotional landscape for the past year. And that's what the piece is based on. Project 19 with the New York Phil is a really exciting project. I'm so grateful to be involved in it. All the other composers, I'm obsessed with them. So it's incredible. It's truly incredible. I mean, what the New York Phil is saying is that these voices matter. These voices belong in our institution in this major way, which the momentum that that's creating in the field, you can feel the ripples. People are talking about this and there's a lot of support behind the pieces that we're doing and it's, New York Phil is a place where people look to say what is happening? What are they doing? Because that's the cutting edge and for New York Phil to step up and commit to all of these commissions is so incredible. It's really setting a really high bar. The creativity was always there. So there's nothing new there. What's changed is that I think a, a broader audience is more interested in listening. And that's because of the work, like the work the New York Phil is doing, where they're saying, you should hear this, this matters. I love the idea of momentum because it is forward moving, but it's also just the beginning. And there's something so exciting about the idea of momentum and somebody had to start it. So that I feel like I'm getting to ride this wave of momentum from female identifying composers before me who fought to have their voices heard. And you know, the work itself will hopefully send us into the rest of the concert and the rest of the evening. I think art is the closest we can get to understanding someone else's experience. So it's so important to show a wide diversity of experience. But it's also a celebration of being alive and, you know, that feeling anything is a privilege, truly. Like the fact that we can. So 
that's what I aim to celebrate in my work. <laughs>